Okay, it is time for us to go through some more of these penny rolls I got from the coin shop. Um, I don't know when the next time I'm going to be able to get any more of these penny rolls every time I've been. Uh, since I got this big, huge batch, uh, they have not had any. Um, I do have some nickels that I'm going through as well, and those have been some awesome rolls. The penny rolls that I got here that I've been going through, some, some of the rolls had some awesome stuff in it. Others, our regular circulated sets are in the so we'll take about half of these and do one more hunt and then we'll see how long it takes to get more pennies uh, from the coin store but it might be a while intro take 473 cue music cue coins <laughs> yeah. all right awesome now pick them up i'm not rich all right, so we pulled out 11 of these. So we're going to get into these. You're gonna top two rolls at a time, and then I'll sort through them off camera, and we'll just let you know what's going on with these, like I have been doing. Zoom in just a little bit here. Let's get into these. And I tell you what, I'm gonna miss opening up these foil line rolls. Um, these are the last foil line roll wrappers that my uh, coin roll uh coin store had and they said they lose they used up the last bit rolling up these coins to us uh, into the bank there Let's see if we're gonna knock, knock stuff over um so let's see what we got in here Is anything anything special standing out looks like a kind of a circulated roll nothing Major fancy catch in my eye. We do have a couple of 2009s in here. Ooh. That's pretty nice. 1972. San Francisco. We got a big old huge fingerprint across the front. And looks like a fingerprint on the reverse too. Otherwise, it's pretty nice. I'm going to set it up there. Um, I don't think that's going to upgrade my, that, my album there. But uh, we'll take a look at it. It's a pretty decent 1960 out of Denver. It's like a small date. I'm not seeing anything out of the ordinary from here. But we will be checking that for any you punch mint marks and anything else going on with it. I'll just set it over there. It's a pretty nice shape, 1961. That has some repunch mint marks as well. And uh, it has a uh, tilted horizontal mint mark um, repunch there as well. A fun one to find if you can find it. Uh, let's see here. A couple 1909s. Or a couple 2009s, I should say. Uh, nothing really sticking out in that roll. Let's go ahead and crank this next roll here. And see if there is any thing in this roll or we just have another circulated roll with some nice coins in it here and there i have found a few wheat cents in these rolls so hopefully we come across a wheat cent at some point but i'm not going to hold my breath for any being that these came from the coin shop that is um not expected but they do have some that slip by there's another 1960 denver looks like a small date as well we will check that for the there is a large date over small date and then several repunch mint marks if you've been watching any of those you've seen plenty of those i have come across a ton of the 1960 denver's with the repunch mint mark but i've been coming across a absolute Ton. I mean, I'm coming across the whole mess of 1960 Denver's out of these rolls. Um, I would say a good quarter to a third of the cents in all these rolls were 1960 out of Denver's. Yep. 1968S is probably the nicest one in this roll. So I do have some stuff to look for. 
in here. Some fun stuff to try and find. And uh, yeah, but a lot of these do look like they're kind of circulated. So let me go through these, get them sorted, and I will let you know if I find anything really cool in them. Okay, we just found an awesome find. Holy cow, I've been looking for one of these and finally hit one. This is the, I believe this is FS101 in the Cherry Picker's Guide. This is the large date over small date and RPM. 1960 out of Denver. I have been looking for this one out of all of these. I finally come across one. That is awesome. It is clear as day. And you can see in the picture there that I'm popping up. That is amazing. Holy cow. Holy cow. He's saving some of the best stuff for last in these rolls. Um, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, man, that is exciting. Okay, out of those first two rolls, it was just that one awesome find here. Very cool. Pretty good shape as it is as well. Not perfect, but that is an awesome find. Very, very cool find indeed. Let's crack two more rolls and see what else we can see in these. And, uh, whew, nice. Uh, if I don't find anything else for this hunt, I will call this hunt a, a success because <laughs> if you can't tell, I am super stoked to find that coin there. It is definitely one of the more major errors that I've been wanting to find for a long, long time. Okay, so in this roll here, looks like we got, you know, similar stuff. But we do have some nicer scents mixed in with this roll. Um, there are some 1960s out of Denver's to check for stuff. 1971S. Let's see. Oh, got a weedy. Got a weedy. 1942 out of Denver. Cool. Nice. Let's just put that up here. Zoom back out a little bit. Nice. So there was a weedy in that one. Let's see. Got some nicer coins back here I was getting to. 1971. Decent shape. Very nice coin. 1968 out of Denver. Another nice coin in nice shape there. I mean, the reverse on some of these coins just look amazing. Let me flip them over, and the obverse isn't as nice. Come on, focus, 1972S. Hmm. That one kind of has a proof-like look to it. I wonder if that's a proof. It might be a proof. Um, it's got the thick rims, and I don't believe the Cameo stuff was a thing on almost every proof until... A little bit later in the 70s. So I'm going to set that aside. It looks a little bit more shiny than the other coins there that we just looked at. 1963, pretty good, nice, pretty good, nice shape. 1959 out of Denver. All right. So that was it for that roll. Some nice coins in there, some things to check for. Very cool. And a weed set. Nice. Let's see, let's get into this next roll here. And more brown scents. 59 out of Denver. Ooh, that's a very nice 1966. Has some nice little splotchy color on it. Um, Look at the back, it's got a dirty back. Um, I would think that this is more of an artificially toned coin, like something got on it, especially because the back has some uh, discoloration on it. Um, but I could be wrong. That might be nor uh, natural from like an album and that just might be some discoloration from the album. Maybe one of the little uh, folders that you kind of pop them into um, there. But I'm not sure. 
couple of 1963s, a bunch of 1963s out of Denver's actually. So I'll be checking that. That has a um, double die uh, repunch date. Oh, we got another wheat scent here. Let's see. 1956 out of Denver. Nice. I'll just set that over here and take a quick look at it. Well, I flip through the rest. Oh, got another 1956 out of Denver. Here. Yep, so that's two 56 out of Denver. So here's another one. 1956 out of Denver. I guess I hit a 1956 out of Denver section because it looks like I have more. There's the one that had a little something on it. 1956 out of Denver. Um, let's see, let's just, 1956, let's just zoom in a little bit more, uh, as far as I can go. 1956 out of Denver, 56 out of Denver, 56 out of Denver, 1955 out of Denver. There's another 1963 out of Denver. Some more, so yeah, nice, so. One, two, three, four, eight, eight wheat cents in that roll. Mostly 56 out of Denver there. Very cool. There's some fun stuff to, oh, no, another one, nine, nine wheat cents out of that roll. Another 1956 out of Denver. There's probably another one hiding in here somewhere, maybe. Yep, there was, 1956 out of Denver. Nice brown one there. That's 10 wheat cents in this roll. Okay, I think I've looked at all these, um, and I'm not seeing any other wheat reverses here. Very cool. Well, let me go through these rolls and see what else we got in these. But uh, yes, so far so good. We have a awesome start to this hunt. Okay, so out of those uh, two rolls, we had eleven wheat cents and one possible uh, proof. I haven't double checked this yet to see if this is a proof or not. There we go. Now it's focusing. It has that proof look, but I have not double checked. I'm going to call this a proof for now, but if I am wrong, I will let you know. I'm going to put that up here. Stack up all these wheat cents over here. Next two rolls. Let's get into these and see what we can see here. It has been a very fun hunt so far. I have been enjoying this a whole lot. We got a 1984 on the top of this roll. Uh, I don't see the double ear from there in the camera, but uh, it would be nice if that did have one. <laughs> I'm not thinking it does, but you never know. You never know. Zoom out just a little bit so you can see what's going on. So, yep, yeah, looks like another standard roll. There's some stuff to check in 99. I'll check that for the wide AM. That would be an awesome find there. The 99 is the rare one out of the three. Um, 98, 99, 2000 are ones you can find a wide AM variety where the gap in between the A&M and America is larger. 1961. Some decent stuff, nothing um, really standing out. There's a 1969 out of San Francisco. Does not quite look doubled there in the camera. I'll still double check, but I'm pretty sure that one is not a double die. That would be amazing to find. I could trade it for a new car in today's prices. <laughs> Whew. And those cars are not cheap whatsoever. Um, nothing else catching my eye here. Ugh, that one looked great from the reverse, but it is gunky on the obverse. Yeah, get out of here. All right. That is it for that roll. This is a little, one of those uh, shotgun rolls. So we'll see what's in this one. Different kind of roll. So, 
and always fun to check those out. That's a has that older waxy cover to it too as well. So I know that's a I don't know if it's an older roll, but it's older than the standard the rolls you can get today. Um, let's see, seventy threes, sixty eight. 76, 77 with some spouts on it. I'm not seeing anything stand out from this roll either so far. Oh, no, that's a 66. thought it was a 56 there. Um, some things to check for, but nothing really standing out there to say, hey, look at me. All right, well, let me go through these, see what we've got going on here. Got uh, several of them to check for stuff. So we'll see if there's anything really cool on these, and I'll be right back. Okay, there was nothing in those two rolls. Two, three. All right. Well, looks like I'm going to do two, and then we'll do three on the last bit there. Let's zoom in just a little bit so we can see what's coming out of these rolls. And... Like we got a dirty 1961 there. And on the other side, we got a reverse. Let's see. Get these pushed out and see what's in here. Well, it looks like mostly some brown sets and a few shiny, slightly shiny sets in the middle here. 69 out of Denver, 1960 out of Denver. That is another small date. Uh, I'm not seeing anything going on with that one. Looks normal. Just has a little extra shine to it. Uh, nothing fancy sticking out in these rolls. There. And a lot of brown scents in this one. Okay. It looks like it's mostly 60s in this roll as well. Let's put those out of the way. Let's crack the next roll. Um, yeah, it looks like all 60s, there's a couple of 59s in there, and that's pretty much what I'm seeing. And since they're all pretty, pretty, uh, brown, look like they're circulated, we're just going to move on to the next roll, because I'm not seeing anything stand out there. Um, never know, might find something, something good there, um, it's when I go through them, but, you know. Let's see here. Eighties, seventies, some sixties in this roll. Uh, let's see, that's a mm, six ninety six there. Ninety two, ninety four. There's some stuff to look for on those. Ninety six. Ninety six is actually have um the double die on the obverse. 2000, we'll check that one. Um, it's a pretty nice and shiny 1969. Not perfect, got some surface spotting on it, but it is in quite nice shape. I'm gonna put it up here, I might uh, check that against the album. I think I got a nice one, but I don't see too many nice ones of the 69s. Okay, well that looks like about it. Nothing really standing out here saying, hey, check me out right now. So let me go through. Oh, here's a really shiny one. This may be a proof. Has that proof look to it, look to it, but it may, 1964. 1964, that is a 1964 proof. And it is just so, it is very reflective. So that's cool. We got a 1964 proof. Nice. And it's got those uh, nice square um, rims. The rims are nice and square and extra pronounced there. So um, I'm going to put this up here with the other proof. Cool. That one was just kind of hiding in there. All right. So those, those rolls, we got the 1964 proof. Pretty nice shape, shape as well. So I had two of these just interesting looking things I figured I would share. Um, if you look at the one in 1961, I'll have a picture of this. 
looks like something smashed into it and pushed the one over. And what's interesting is I found not one, but two of them like that. Not sure what did that, um, but something did smash that one and push it over somehow. Anyhow, that's just uh, some damage on the coin, but it just looked interesting. I figured I would share. Okay, three rolls left. Well, let's see what we got in these last three rolls. Ground sense on each side. Let's see what's in the middle. Let's match this to here. Just want to make sure you can see what's going on here. Ground sense. Uh, decent 71. It's still pretty discolored there. Um, pretty nice. 1973. Uh, not perfect. It's got some spots and some stuff on it. Oof, the back, especially on the back there. see lots of brown scents in here and nothing super you know ooh, that is a gunky scent there yep more brown scents nothing special fancy couple of decent red Red-ish, probably red-brown scents. Brown-red, red-brown, red-brown. Um, there. I'm showing you it reverse there. Um, yeah, nothing really saying, hey, look at me, look at me. 1960 out of Denver, brown scent on the front of that as well. Oops, get them going. Ooh. This looks like a Half roll of some nice scents and then some brown scents. Let's see. Let's take a quick look at these. 1960 out of Denver's. 1960 out of Denver's. 1960 out of Denver's. That one looks like just a 1960. 60 out of Denver's. There's a 73. So we got a stack of 1960s out of Denver. 74S. So we're going to have a lot of stuff to check for there. There's another 1960 out of Denver with some uh, nice uh, brownish tone on it. And it's possible that, uh, I don't know, some interesting looking color on it there. And then we got a stack of some really nice... Um, 1964 out of Denver's. Pretty good shape. Really nice red coins there. Um, other than a repunched mint mark on 1964, um, there's not a lot to look for that I know of. A decent 1960 out of Denver. Let's zoom up back up just a little bit. So, 1964. I'm going to set these over here to the side and I'll Look at them here. See if there's anything going on it. Another 1960, a nice 1960 out of Denver. That one is a large date. Very cool. It's got some spots on it, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, some, some nice colored scents in here. Yep, some nice red scents. Um, 1964, 1964, 1964 to Philly. The Philly has a repunch or um, a double die reverse. Double die reverse to look for. So it is in pretty nice shape. So I'll set it over here out of the way. Some of that 1960. So lots of stuff to look for in those two rolls. Lots of coins to check out. Final roll here. What do we got going on? A brown scent on that end and. Like another brown scent on the other end. All right.
let's see here. That looks like some brown cents. 59, 60 out of Denver's. Um, 1960. Looks like a large date. Um, 1963. 62 out of Denver. These have a lot of surface uh, discoloration issues with them, so there's nothing fancy going on there. There's an 87 out of Denver, another 87 out of Denver. Um, 60, 61. Looks like another large date, 1960. Yep. All right. Well, tons of tons of pennies to look for and find, try to find some things on, but it uh, doesn't look like there are any wheat cents in any of these last rolls. So let me sort through these, see what I can find. Um, I'll probably hold on to most, if not all, of these nice coins over here and check them against the album as well. All right, in those three rolls, we had three 1960 out of Denver's with three punch mint marks. This one is minor, very minor. And then this one is better. You can see it, it is gunky, unfortunately. Uh, dirty scent, but it does have um, a bit more noticeable repunch mint mark. And then the best one is this 1960 repunch mint mark. This is FS502. Cool. I found a few of these in the in these rolls, the 502. But uh, yeah, that is really awesome to uh, come across the 502 and the 501 in a hunt. All right, well, that was it for the hunt. Let me break down the rest of the finds here. Okay, so here's the rest of the finds for the wrap-up. Uh, just those three that we just went over. And then we had a 1964 proof, a 1972S that looks very much like a proof, but it could be very wrong. It could just be a very nice and shiny um 1972s with a little bit of a uh, surface discoloration on it but 11 wheat cents they're very cool to find um most of them were 1956s out of denver i did check them all for any rpms and such but it, i didn't find anything on those the find of the hunt is this 1960 fs501 in the cherry picker's guide this is um the large date over small date and the and it has a repunch mint mark as well. So that is really cool. Definitely a coin that I've had on my list to find. A you know, bucket list coin, if you if you will. Um, oh, there's one, two, three, 2009s as well. That I found in those rolls. Um, so cool. Overall, fun hunt. I do have some up here that are nicer. I'm going to check against the album. And if there's any upgrades on my personal album there, I'll put it at the end after everything here. We do have 11 more of these penny rolls that I got from the coin shop. So there will be one more hunt for the penny rolls before I'm out of that large batch of penny rolls that I've, I've had picked these up about six months ago. And it's taken me this long to get through them. It's been awesome looking through these. Some awesome finds. Some really cool stuff. Um, yeah, I would love to sit sit down and just go through and say here's the best finds from these but um i don't know if i'm gonna have time to do that so there is a playlist if you want to go check out the playlist if you got time to uh watch a few episodes if you haven't do go check that out there has been some awesome finds on some of these rolls um and this this uh, hunt is no exception all right um yeah well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up, help me out, drop a comment down below, and let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support. Okay, first up, we got a 1960 out of Denver large date. Um, it's got a few spots on it, but it is a really nice condition coin. I had this one in here that has some beautiful colors on it, um, but it is very dark and it's hard to see through the uh, plastic film here. Um, really nice condition as well. I think I might switch that out for when I can see better in the album. 
Um, you can see I have some down here, but I can actually see those all, all pretty good. This one is slightly bit dark, but it's reflective enough to see. This one is just dark, dark, not as reflective and not hard and harder to see in there. So I think I'm going to switch that out. I'm going to hold on to this one, though, because it is a really nice coin. It's just um, really dark and hard to see in the album. Our next coin switching out is this 1964 out of Denver. You can see the difference. One of those ones that I got that was in really nice condition. This is the best one of them all. Very beautiful, nice condition coin. Going to switch that out most definitely. And then our third and final coin for switching out. Got a 1971 in here. You can tell it's just the surface says the quality is not very good. This one's better. Not perfect, but much better than the one it's got in there. So that is another upgrade, our last of three upgrades for the album. 